We're the Marsh family. I'm Varna, that there is my husband Nick, my eldest son Brayden and my youngest son Thorn. We live on a suburban homestead on the outskirts of Melbourne, Victoria in Australia. Now, we've been homesteading for a long while now, particularly here at Ravenstag for nearly three years, but we've been homesteading for longer than that. We began in rural Victoria in a place called Kilmore at Rhiannon Sanctuary, which was our homestead for seven years. We began there, the boys were all, both born there, raised there, and we had great resources, lots of trees, amazing flora and fauna, water sources, we had it all. There you can see Brayden and Nick playing with our three dogs who have passed since, but it was just the most amazing time. Many people who know me know that I have and, and stand by the mottos of recycle, repurpose, reuse. And we certainly did that at our homestead. But there was something niggling inside me. I'd had conversations with people. They would always say, you're so fortunate to have so much land. I wish I could do that, but I can't. I live in suburbia or I'm in an urban setting and I can't do that. So I'll just have to dream. And that really didn't sit well with me. I to Rhiannon, I had lived in urban and suburban settings and have, had been just as self-sufficient and sustainable as when I was living at Rien. But for that time, I really had a lot of projects that I wanted to finish at Rhiannon. So we created spaces not only for ourselves, but for the greater magical community. We erected altars and places of reverence, constructed circles for a plethora of deities across pantheonic constructs, and we opened it to anyone who would want to come and utilize that space. Uh, we didn't charge for that. If you wanted to spend some time there, you just came and spent time there. But what made me even happier was that I was able to create with Nicholas a space that was so beautiful, but also it was an edible landscape we started to create a permaforest and uh, you know you came and you you spent time and then you ate whatever you wanted and took what home whatever you wanted um, it was just a, a beautiful beautiful space our family really enjoyed it now our family of four is actually a, a larger family we have my dad who lives with us and my sister who lives with us so uh, there was already six mouths to feed but i wanted to feed more <laughs> so we created these spaces of abundance and shared that abundant space uh, in mind body and spirit you would think i'm crazy but i really wanted to have my next living space be something that was so barren and desolate and neglected and forgotten. Now I do miss the ruse. We had a, a mob that lived on our property. They were there every day. They lived there. They would go off in the morning and they would come back in the evening. But I really did want to create something in a suburban setting that pretty much anyone could do. You didn't need to be a millionaire. You didn't need to have a lot of land. You didn't need to have all those things that we only dream about having. And yes, I did have it and I will have it again, but I really wanted to dedicate my time and space to showing people that you can do this in a normal suburban lot. So self-sustainability is totally my jam, <laughs> as you could probably tell by now. Um, and as I said before, recycle, repurpose, reuse is totally a thing for me. But I also add reimagine and then create. That's my happy place. Um, so Nicholas and I uh, really planned this out. We wanted to really find a space that was unloved and uh, pretty broken. Um, the place we happened to find was quite interesting <laughs> we found the most unwanted and unloved place barren land and very poor soil nothing in the home worked so whilst we created the inhabitable space um, that i could bring my family into i slept on a mattress on the floor transforming every room with some elbow grease sweat equity and a universe full of determination Within two weeks, the space was livable, and so we moved in, and the real adventure began. 
Nick and I spent the first year creating the bones and supportive structures that would be the foundation for the future of sustainability for us. Soil creation being one of the major goals that we had, creation of self-composting beds, compost mounds and water catchments, planting a small crop of edible fruit and veg and 20 different varieties of fruit and berries. We live by recycle, repurpose, reuse, reimagine. So we created with all materials that were possible with this in mind. We started with creating the witch's cottage from where I'm able to teach my clients and my students. And we went and did everything we could to start this. Nick, I love it when he dances. The boys loved it. Lined up to go. But look, look at, I'm in the greenhouse, in the solarium right now. They helped out with all the seedlings. They loved this process. And then we just experimented with what worked. And some things did and some things didn't. But boy, was it fun so the whole time. A little mini germination station, and so there's lots of stuff in there. Um, frame there, and I'm just doing. So we created, creating soil and magical spaces, all the while having the most amazing time but they all had a purpose. They're starting to take off and the beetroots and I'm That first year we created over 50 kilos in produce, created one cubic meter of rich soil and converted 30% of the lawn space into productive fertile growth space. It was amazing. And there you can tell it's Sunday by Nick's underpants. Nick wears days. <laughs> As we created these spaces, it wasn't just for our bodies, it was for our minds and our spirits too, and to share it with the greater community also. So we started to record everything that we did. Longest time. <laughs> so it's springtime now and I'm gonna to... But this space is just beautiful from barren space to now rich, amazing, fertile grow space. Mind, body and spirit all taken care of in this space.
I'm so came the second year. Now. It was another year of amazing. This second year, we harvested 120 kilos of produce, created four cubic metres of rich soil, and reclaimed and converted 60% of the lawn into productive fertile grow space. And we're not stopping there. We're entering our third season now. And boy, have we got plans. It's really about reclaiming 100% of the lawn into productive fertile grow space now. Lauren Zeus, just as we finished reading. When I went onto Facebook and there it was for free. So, Anthony, thank you so much. And we want to incorporate and create renewable energy sources this year. We've been experimenting, but we'd like to do a hell of a lot more. So our journey continues, and this is where you come in. This is the portion where we invite you to spend this time with us. We can't wait to share this space with you and show you the things we have been pretty good at, some stuff that we mucked up, and all the rest of it. And there's a lot of rest of it. <laughs> Are you planting a grape? Yes. Spring has well and truly sprung now. And as we go through the rest of what has been happening last year and take note and stock, we're very excited. Our goal is to double our produce harvested this year. So we're aiming for 240. <laughs> and beyond that, we're just going to try and do our best to live as sustainably and self-sufficiently as we can. Try. Well, no, actually, you did try. Good shot. But now we're going to be moving forward with you and showing you all the magical medicinal properties of all the produce and also our projects and why we do them. If you have any suggestions or want to see anything in particular, please let us know in the comments below. We look so forward to sharing this space with you. So from this point, we're just gonna do the do. We do what we do and we wanna take you along with us. So we're going to be uploading updates every week. Sometimes we will put up a tutorial that is not just the, day, the weekly vlog, but we'd love to get to know all of you. So in the comments below, please let us know who you are, where you are, what, what you're doing here. Are you interested in self-sustainability? Recycle, repurpose, reuse, reimagine and create. Is that your jam too? Let us know in the comments below and we can't wait to meet all of you. So excited to have you on the journey with us. So if you haven't already, press that subscribe button and press that notification bell so you can see all the future updates that are coming. But we cannot wait to see you till the next video. Wishing you the brightest of blessings and we'll see you soon.